What's up, everybody? Y'all might be wondering. I got my Christmas hat on. I got all the Christmas lights going. It's time for us to do my Disney Dreamlight Valley Christmas walkthrough. Sunny Day Now, I don't know if y'all been keeping track of the videos, but hopefully you have because this used to be the littest part of my town, but that is no longer the case, man. So every biome in my valley is toe up, except the snow biome. Now, y'all can kind of get a glimpse of how lit it is up there. But we're going to walk up there. We're going we're gonna to walk through, take a tour, and I'm going to show y'all what I've been doing in my valley for Christmas. Now, first, you see my little balloons or whatever. That's cool. But look at the town square. This is the new town square, man. This is where Scrooge is, Remy's is. This is like a toy store, FAO shorts, home alone when he got stuck at the toy store vibe. This is my whole community commercial area right here in the middle right here. And you could tell, man, a lot went into it. By the way, if y'all haven't checked out my other videos, make sure y'all check it out because I built this on camera. So we got some extra Christmas trees. We got both the stalls up here next to the store. I just wanted to give it that real neighborhood commercial, you know, like Macy's or FAO Schwartz. This is where you meet Santa at. So Santa come down here. You can meet Santa. You hey, know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Maybe he give you a gift or something <laughs> like that. And over here we got our outhouses. But then to the right over the bridge. Oh, this right here is my little hot sauce. I mean, hot chocolate stand where you get your hot chocolate at remy got this going because you know remy looking out for the community or whatever then you go across the bridge and this is my house it's kind of killing my vibe this is my house over here we got the rv because of the griswolds national lampoon christmas vacation uncle eddie or cousin eddie came over in his rv so i figured that looked really cool plus it looks really realistic next to the house so my house is decorated you know what I'm saying we got a little kwanzaa action got a little gif action Matter of fact, let's just take a look inside the house if y'all haven't seen it. The inside of my house is looking real tight, but it's looking real Christmassy in here, man. Look at the Christmas vibes in here. Got the little gingerbread house, some candles. Make sure y'all don't show this one to Kanye. And then we got some, <laughs> I keep telling that stupid ass joke, yo, but it's funny, though. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. Got the little gingerbread house, got some candles, got my laptop. Like, y'all know what this look like if you've been watching the videos, but. This is my little area, man. Family vibes, Christmas vibes, all that type of energy. If y'all want to see my other rooms, you got to check out my last tour because I don't want to like keep going over the same rooms. So out here, I'm stuck with this this purple thing. Yeah, I'm, this probably was really loud just now, but I'm stuck with that purple thing for right now. But this is where all the villagers are. We all have a little community. We got the little clock tower right there. And then to the left, this is the church. Now this area over here is exclusively for the church, aka Kristoff and them house. We got a little igloo over there. It's kind of a vibe with Goofy over there, ice fishing. We got the little trees lighting up, look like a little ice alien plants. And then this is where you go to church, aka Kristoff and them crib. Now they got a little thing going on over here too. They got a hot sauce. Damn. Christmas hat is too small for my head, so I just kind of put it up there. Uh, Christoph and them got a little hot chocolate stand too, and they also got toys for tots. So this is the little chocolate toys for tots. So basically, if you bring a toy to, to donate, they give you a free hot chocolate. So that's Christoph and them stand. They got hooked up. Little Christmas tree and a sled to give it that whole feel of the, of the kids. And then we got the carousel from Woody. Now this was a game changing item. I did not realize Woody's house was gonna look like this when I first got it. Cause I was kind of disappointed that it was broke up when I first got it, but it looks so good, man. It just adds so much like movement and also the lightage to the Christmas town. And then of course, over here, we got our transporter and the transporter I try to make as extra as possible with these pillars and just kind of building it up with the candelabras and all of that. Let me show you a bird's eye view of what I did. So this is my whole snow biome right here, man. This is the whole snow biome. Like I said, if y'all want to see me build it, just go back, check out them old videos because they were fun times. Got some water towers back there too you didn't see. But you really get to look at how I designed it. So like over here, I made everything kind of on this center line right here because I had to pull it out a little bit so you could, you know, have a little bit more space. We got uh, 
it's just a lot of little details that you you really just don't notice unless you look hard enough. But I got a lot of little details in here, man. A lot of little details. I just think that this area right here being like a little commercial area, game changing. And when I first started doing this, I actually was going to put the residential area over here. But then I was like, nah, it's just too straight. It didn't give me that cozy feel, but this was perfect for the buildings. And then over here is perfect for residential because it's like a little cul sac You know what I mean? And my house over there with that RV is just, that's just a look to me. I love that. And then we got the little town square over here for residential. But, you know, until I get rid of this purple thing, this isn't really going to look the best. But you, you get the idea of what I'm going for. We got a little arches, Christmas arches. And this church was game changing too. If y'all caught that on the video, I mean, it was like when we figured out to do these rocks and then with the ice, like it just looks so perfect over here with the church. It's like it's built. It was meant to be built over here. Even with the igloo, the lions, everything, man. And we just brought some more Christmas right outside of it with the carousel and the little hot cocoa stand. So you really could see what I was putting down with the Christmas situation. Y'all want to rock the hottest merch in the game? Well, go over to SaneDaniel.com slash shop, man, where you can get all the new merch that I drop. I got hoodies, t-shirts, pillows, phone cases coming, lanyards, all kind of stuff, man. So go over to SaneDaniel.com slash shop, get the hottest merch, man. I got it on right now because it's just so fly. Also, if you want my Uncensored Sim videos, you want access to all my content before it hits YouTube, and some content that never hits YouTube that's strictly exclusive, you got to go over to the OnlyFans, man. Let's get back into the video. Here's like a drone footage look for you. So yeah, man, let me know in the comments what y'all think about my town, man. You see Anna out there too? Frozen Anna right there. She looking fresh. Let me know in the comments what you think about my Christmas town, man. I, like I told people, man, people be hating on Disney, talking about it ain't good. Like the design aspect of this game is, is up there, man. You know what I'm saying? It's up there and it just keep getting better and better every update. So let me know in the comments what you think about my Christmas village. What I'm going to start doing now is getting the Forest of Valor kind of set up for a farm because there's a house on the intro to this game it's not in the game yet this hat is about to drive me nuts i just i want the lights because i don't have a santa hat i wish i had a santa hat but i don't i need to buy one so i'm trying to be Christmassy with the lights and it's just not working out so my goal up here is to try to make this like a farms because i'm gonna still keep my pumpkins this is a pumpkin patch i'm gonna kind of make this still feel like fall so this, of course, is going to be Christmas, winter, turned up to the max. This is going to be kind of low-key farming, crops. I'm going to use Wally's truck as like a harvester. So I don't know if I'm going to put it like in front of the pumpkins or maybe on the side. But my, my plan is to use uh, Wally's truck as like a harvester. You know, we got bales of hay. This is still going to feel like a fall town. But it's just going to be a lot more low-key. Um, I think I'm even going to do something with these plants here because these are all the harvestable, what they call it, forgeable plants. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I lined them up symmetrically and then these are the ones that are off uh, center. They don't have a match. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but from Elsa's spot, all this ice right up to there is all crazy right now like i could i can't believe this came out yeah this just took this came out so good man i just had to steal a lot from these other parts my plaza is kind of dead i mean it's not dead i do like it still but it's just not a lot going on because a lot of the villagers are now up in the snow biome but i think my my next focus is going to be this biome which is fall which we kind of just came off of fall so it shouldn't be too hard to channel that fall energy and then my plaza and my meadow is pretty much just going to stay kind of summer, spring oriented because we kind of running out of limits for items. As you see up here, I got 286 or 2867 uh, out of 3000. So that's only like truly like 100 items because if you let stuff spawn up, like that's going to take up some. So that's like 100 items and I can't build like this in every biome which i'm hoping disney can up that in the future because i need to be able to build like this in every single biome that's what's gonna make this game crazy so hopefully they can up that mostly on pc but yeah so if y'all want to watch me build this force of valor up on some fall vibes you want to see me do some more christmas stuff make sure y'all subscribe like the video comment check out the playlist of disney dreamlight valley because i got hella videos on there that's long and you could just chill out and watch me build but uh, let me know in the comments what you think about my Christmas Island, y'all. I love y'all. Help me try to get this video to Disney. Let me show Disney what I can put now. 
Game Loft too. You know what I'm saying? Game Loft and Disney. Y'all need to give me a job, man. Go ahead and hire me for the for the team. Oh look, we ain't finished yet. We ain't finished yet. Now this is a brand new day. I got a Disney Santa hat, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I got a Disney Santa hat. I got this from the five below. But I got a little bit of extra stuff to show y'all real quick. First of all, I didn't know that these balls were actually objects. You know what I'm saying? I thought these was motifs. So these balls is going right by the merry-go-round, and they look good. So I just wanted to make sure I showed y'all that. Also, this outfit with the socks is hitting different. All of a sudden, now I'm starting to get this wrapping paper, which I think there's two more items that I have to unlock for Christmas time. Because when I go in here to my dream light thing, I notice that... We got Ho 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 and we got even fish are festive. You see how there's got two gifts on them? Which means those are two items, which I got to get these two fish. I already know which ones I got to get. And then Ho Ho Ho, I have no idea what that is. I'm, gonna, I'm imagining that you have to maybe wrap gifts and give them to villagers like Santa Claus. I have no idea, but I keep getting that wrapping paper and they only give me like two or three a day. So I don't know what's going on, but this has pretty much been the end of my Disney Dreamlight Valley Christmas decorating series. You know what I'm saying? Now I will come back and do more Disney Dreamlight Valley, of course. But for the designing part of it, I think we're pretty much done with Christmas, man. Like we went crazy. So y'all let me know in the comments what you think about my whole Christmas situation. What you think about Disney Bay's outfit? I'm thinking it's hitting. But y'all let me know in the comments, man. Big shout out to all of y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to the homie that's watching this with his girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? I saw your comment the other day, bruh. I'm be getting busy in the background. Matter of fact, get busy in the background, bruh. Get busy in the background. You know what I'm saying? Do that, do that for me, yeah. Do that for me. But I love y'all. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'm thinking it's looking amazing. Get this out my shot. <laughs> all right. I love y'all. Peace. That was amazing. All of those long, hard hours of working definitely pay off. I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.